Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd do a short video on something that's been spoken about quite a bit on social media. I've had friends ask me, how do you make it? So I thought I'd do a really short video explaining the use of the dongle on a circle hook. Now, circle hooks have been about for years. Uh, to be honest, I probably haven't used them until the last couple of years. Um, maybe a case of, a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I be was made aware of these, these dongles with the circle hooks and witnessed how they worked and they were absolutely brilliant. The hookup rate was, was better, far better. And the actual hook itself, everything slip hooked, which is lovely if you want to sort of release your fish. Um, great for hounds, you can unhook them very quickly get the hook out very easily and get them released with minimal damage. The same with your bass, your cod, your rays, all the bigger stuff. I've not tried them yet with smaller stuff. I'm actually going to have a little bit of a go in the summer um, and see what they're like with the flounder, which are <laughs> renowned for being a deep hooked, greedy fish. So we'll just run through uh, with the circle hooks. You don't tie them on your, your snood line the same as you do a standard hook. You actually tie them on with a loop uh, so that the circle hook can move quite freely on that loop. I use a perfection loop. There are loads of videos on YouTube on how to tie one, so I won't go through the tutorial of, of how to tie a perfection loop. And you have a little loop again on the end of your dongle. But I'll bring the camera in close, we'll get some bait out. I'll show you exactly what you do, put one on with braid and uh, how it's baited up and give it a go. It, it really does work. If you noticed at the beginning of the video, I actually put some pictures up of some fish that I'd caught with the circle hooks and the dongle. And they're just so perfectly lip hooked. The, the hook is so easy to get out, I'm sold on it. So I'll explain in the next part and show you what you what you have to do. Okay guys, right, I'll run through this very quickly. As I've said, the circle hook has got to be tied on a, a loop. It's no good trying to tie it via the traditional method of tying a hook because it's too fixed and there's not enough movement. You need that movement for that perfect lip hook. The dongle, basically a piece of braid. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see that. There's a loop on the bottom end that you attach to your bait clip for your clip down and your bait actually sits on this part. Now with the dongle it literally is a piece of braid tied up, this is £300 I think, but it's tied up, loop on the end and then you simply cut it off, melt it over on that end and get yourself a pair of pliers and gently flatten part of the braid at the very top. So we flatten that out and then do it on this one. This is the tricky bit because of the barb, but it won't come off once it's on. Poke the, the point of the hook through the flattened piece of braid as near to the centre as you can without stabbing yourself, drawing blood. So there you have it. So there's your hook on a loop, swings quite freely and that's your dongle that you bait up. So let's get some bait out and uh, show you the next step. Right, the first bait I'm going to put on there is a piece of sand eel and just make sure that your bait is big enough to cover the dongle that's no good it's too small he looks about right so let's chop off the head and you can actually strap it on like that I like to just fill it down the middle of the fish bit tricky when the sand eel is starting to defrost. Take off his tail. And 
and bury the dongle in the bait. Like so. Now we want to hook, leave yourself enough room here because we want to hook just the tip of the hook in the top of the bait just to stabilise it. So just elastic that on. In fact, I could have used a slightly bigger sand eel or my dongle is too long. But either way, this is just for demo purposes. So I'm sure you'll all understand. There you go. So a nice sand eel bait and put the just the tip of the hook through the bait, like so. Another thing you can do with these dongles, if you've got a bait that's going to tend to slide about, is you can actually put two or three knots, just overhand knots, in the, the braid, just to cause, make a little bit of a lump there so that the, the bait has got something to grip on and it gives you something to actually um, put your bait elastic round but basically that's it so your baits like that whether you can see that there you go and you've got your little loop on the bottom to put onto either your lead or your clip down so there's your sand eel bait. Okay, same thing really with your mackerel. We're looking at that sort of length bait. I'm just going to use the belly on this. Could do with it being a little more defrosted. Um, As you can see, I've knotted this one. Bury that into the bait. And make sure you've got your loop out there. It's always the same, isn't it? You can never find the end of your bait elastic. Definitely could have done with being less frozen than this, but for demonstration purposes, I'm sure you'll all get the gist of what I'm actually doing here. So you want to lay a piece of squid on top of there. It's easily done. Okay, and just as I said before, put a point of your hook through just the top of the bait, coming out like that. And there you have, move that out of the way, little sand eel bait. It's actually an imp there, not, not attached to a rig, but you'll get the gist of uh, what I'm saying. That is little mackerel bait on a dongle. Seriously, guys, give it a go. Um, the circle hooks are brilliant, as I say, for minimal damage and conservation. Um, releasing the fish with little or no damage. And the dongles seem to work really, really well in getting that lip hook and uh, up in your catch rate. So there you have it. Short video. Hopefully that will help somebody and uh, next time you're out, give it a go.